This is a fucked up story that my brother wrote for English class when he was about 12. So here goes. Old man Jenkins. One day in Turbo Top Town, Mr. Moore Shoe was walking down High Street properly. He noticed everyone was either happy or high on weed. Free tra fools shouted at tramp. Free some pools. Mr. Moore Shoe noticed the tramp and asked for a some pool. Thank him, shouted the tramp as he walked off with a some pool and ate it. Mr. Moore Shoe continued his walk as he smoked chocolate in a leave. Mmm. His eyes to which and he had a seizure and he said that Lee walked across the road. The car pulled over and crashed into a kid's toy store where 29 kids instantly burnt to death. Mr. Moore Shoe continued his walk down the street, not minding the crash the car. Then he stopped by a suspicious store with no signs or logos and windows covered over. Before Mr. Moore Shoe continued his walk, an old man by the name of Old Man Jenkins came out with a shotgun shouting, Do you want something from my store? Hey, yeah? Okay, yeah. Mr. Moore Shoe was shocked as he put his hands up. And Mr. Moore Shoe said, No, no, no. I don't want any trouble. Old man Jenkins fired his shotgun, leaving Mr. Moore Shoe headless. Blood spurts out and his body collapses. Old man Jenkins reloads his gun and he goes back inside. Another, sis, another spoonful, anyone? Come on, you people, shouted old man Jenkins to his customers. Time is money. Inside the store there were drugs, crystals, and very old rare antiques that no one knows what they are. Gaffney! Everything sold for at least $300 per article. And the buy Temmie you'd be buying. The only reason anyone would buy anything, let alone enter the store, is because they were forced in there by old man Jenkins. If you're forced to enter, you have to buy something to leave. If you refuse or struggle, like Mr. Moore Shoe did, you get your head shot off. Boom. If you talk, you get your nuts shot off. Only two people could find something <gasps> cheapy to buy. One of them was a millionaire who bought a straw for smoking crack. It cost 50 trillion dollars. The man left. With shame to empty his pockets to avoid death. He committed seaside two hours later. The other survivor was a mother of six children. Old man Jenkins already killed four of her children as they wouldn't stop crying. The mother used all her credit cards and jewels to buy a bouncy ball for fifty-two trillion dollars. Zero, 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 She shortly committed tax fraud and ate her children. Old man Jenkins has been doing this for forty years. I, as his pet, get whipped twenty hours a day for exiting. I am dying. He needs to die. He needs to rest in peace. Rough, rough, 1902 to 1902. Seriously, bro, what the hell? Anyway, you see, this is how you sentence mixed properly. No day, I bullshit or anything like that. Something to leave, 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 something to leave,